let's get started. First, let's talk about service key. In order to explain the backing service concept, the very first thing I would like to demonstrate to you all is a simple concept which is easy to understand with practical life because going immediately into the technical stuff is going to confuse you. Hence, it is my duty to make things easy and simple for all of you. So to understand the core concepts of PTP, we will take a real life example when it comes to uh, when it comes to traveling. So let's imagine you are traveling to uh, to Germany, Berlin, and you are going there for leisure and vacation. So when you go for vacation, you would certainly also need a transport from airport. There are two options. What you can is one option is you can uh, rent a car, and option number two is you can hire a taxi. But when you hire a taxi with a with a driver, it's it's not so economical. So I'll go with option one, where I would rent a car for let's say three days during my stay, and I will do a self drive. So on the airport, you can go and there are many car service counter. For example, Eurocar is one of the famous. A car service example where you can rent out a car from airport directly so when you go to airport the first thing they will show is they will show you a brochure which includes different services which they offer so just take an example that you would first choose your car so now if you compare this with sap btp a car is equivalent of a backing service so you no need to buy the car but and no need to own the car you no need to pay so much amount to have the car but you can pay a rent for that car for some period of time so the advantage is you have complete plug and play approach you don't need to own something for long period of time you can just have the service as long as you need it you pay for it after you not need it you can release it yes so that is what you do on also btp as well you will first choose a backing service for example i'm developing an enterprise application and i need to store data so I can go to BTP and say, hey, BTP, I need to store data. And BTP say, hey, Anubhav, I have following uh, following services for you, like HANA database as a service, Postgre database as a service, Mongo database as a service, and Redis database as a service. Which one you want? Similar to the car company, the car rental company show me different cars to, to choose from. So I choose one of the service over here, let's say the Polo, Volkswagen Polo. So once you choose the service, then you have to choose service plan. So what is a service plan? A service plan is nothing but you have to decide what kind of protection and what kind of plan you wanted to go per day, per month, per week, yes? So a service plan or a plan is, is basically decides your cost, how much you're going to pay for that service. So you can see there is a basic, medium and premium plan. So depending on different benefits and coverages, they have different plans to offer. And this is equivalent of a service plan also in BTP. So once you decide to choose, let's say HANA service for developing a application with stored data in HANA, HANA has different plans available in T-shirt size, like small, medium, large, extra large. And based on these plans, your company will be charged. So on a similar manner, you will choose a service plan so you can see here each service has more than or one or more service plans available a service plan is a representation of cost and the benefits for the given variant of particular service for instance a database may configure in various t-shirt t-shirt size plans each of which is a, is a different plan so like l xl m and m or small so based on what plan you choose you pay for that so that is what you can choose as a next step now you decided to let's say go with plan medium and you choose that and then you go ahead and make the payment using your credit card or debit card and whatever once the payment is done they will give you a car to do self-drive yes the actual physical car comes to you with its key so when we do the same thing in btp we choose a service and then we choose a plan what we get is we get the actual service actual car so this is equivalent to the service instance so sap will give you a instance of the service to communicate to utilize that service and you can use the service to perform all the activities so that's where we have different service instances 
in the BTP. So let's say I choose a HANA plan and for L size, large size, so I get a service instance for HANA. Now, in order to talk to the service instance, I need something to talk to, right? Because it's a service and a service needs to be communicated through. So just like to have a physical car and to run or drive this physical car, you need what? Keys, exactly. So just like to drive this car, you need a key. On a same way, you would also need a service key. So inside BTP, you need a service key to consume the service instance. Yes, that's what you need. So the service instance is basically nothing but uh, it is driven through a service key, just like a car key. To drive the car, you need the key. Similarly, to communicate to this service, you need a service key. Sometimes the service key is automatically created or sometimes you need to create service keys manually. So a service key is basically a key through which an application will communicate to this, this service, communicate to this backing service. That's what a service key is all about. So now you understand the concept of backing service. So let me quickly show you inside our SAP BTP account. How does typical backing service work? So I will go to my browser. So we will be using Mozilla Firefox browser. And I will connect once again to our SAP BTP account. <clears throat> so let me enter email ID and authenticate myself. So by the way, in the last class, when we saw setting up the BTP account, the account was finally set it up. Yes, and the account was ready. And what is the confirmation you get once the account is ready? Once the account is set up, you get a nice confirmation from SAP about your account confirmation. So I will show that a screenshot to you what a confirmation I have got after my account was set up. So let me just uh, show you that. So this is the screen. I took a screenshot guys yesterday after the session of what I get in the last class. Yes, that's what I get. So this is how you can see I've got a screenshot of my account setup was complete with region, global account, sub account and everything. Yes, this is what I've received. Fantastic. So now the account is ready. Let me go back and we go to the trial account. And this is the sub account and i go inside the sub account so we will be using for this training the cloud foundry environment and you can see the cloud foundry environment was by default enabled so once it is created there is a dev space i have explained all these concepts in the last class so what i want to do now is i wanted to run a service so i told you the concept first you choose a service then you choose a plan so now, if I go to service marketplace, you will see different bunch of services offered by SAP. You can see and you can choose any service. For example, I choose workflow service. So you can see there is a workflow and workflow management service. So I click workflow service and now I create a. I create a uh, service instance. So think about you see different cars and you choose one of the car. And the moment you choose a car, you will see for that car. There are different plans. So in this case, there is only one plan called light plan. But if you go some other services, you see there is a SaaS plan, there is a light plan. If you go, for example, search for HANA service, then you will see uh, for SAP HANA, there are T-shirt size plans. Yes, so different different plans are there. So depending on the plan, you will pay. So the, 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 the charges will be based on a different plan you choose, like you choose for a car. So now I go to workflow, select. And then I will say create an instance. So this will now create a service instance for us in SAP BTP Cloud Foundry. So the service name is workflow, light is the plan name, environment is Cloud Foundry, which is mandatory. And you know that whenever we choose a service instance, it always uh, binds to a space. So this is our dev space. A dev space uh, or is, is basically a space where all your services will run. They will consume memory and resources over there. Then you give an instance name. So I can say Anubhav underscore workflow. I click next button. It just uh, put me some uh, configuration. So we don't touch this configuration for now. It's okay. And then it just asks me confirmation. Are these details good? I say, okay, let's create. So now we created a instance of a service. So this is the actual physical car you get. You get an instance. So if you say view instance, it takes you to the 
instances and subscriptions and there you can see the instance uh, is getting created for the workflow service you can see instance so here the instance is getting created it's a light plan and it's created under the dev space yeah so you can see the progress of this instance what's the purpose of this service the purpose is to develop and deploy the workflows and provide a runtime environment for your workflows we're going to discuss that in detail but i'm just con explaining the concept of backing service now if you want to talk or connect to this service you must create a service key you see yes so this service yes very good you created a service but to use the service you must create a service key now there is another beautiful thing that we don't need to manually create service keys when we develop a cloud workflow application we need to directly give the service name which is already created in our application and our application at the time of deployment automatically connect or bind to this service yes yes automatically bind to this service yes that is what will happen i'll explain that in the upcoming lectures so this is how the service key works and this is how the services works so multiple application can also connect to a single service it is possible okay depends on service to service yeah so that is the concept in cloud foundry called service and service keys i hope everybody is clear what is a backing service what is service instance and what is a service key now if you want to know all the available services provided by sap in entire btp you can check them on btp service catalog so sap discovery center is relatively a new site hosted by sap for developers and architects to find services hosted by sap in btp and their respective service plans available it will also help technical teams to identify data center availability and the cost associated with each service so now you can go and check service catalog this is the link takes you to sap website and here you can see all the list of services offered by sap in the btp wow look at that humongous number of service for example it's a database postgre database you can see and you see free tier means they are available in the trial account also so we have just set up a trial account if you remember so all these uh, majority of these services are available in the trial account so they are also available in the free tier mode you can utilize them cool now i'm just going to come back here and now i will search for let's say workflow service as we are talking about workflow so if you search workflow then you're going to get the workflow management and also the uh, the other related services uh, for process automation and things like that so now i go to this workflow service then you see the pricing so pricing are as per the plan you choose you see there are three plans here and you can see here how much it is going to cost your company and you can see remember last class data center infrastructure as a service so these are the infrastructure providers aws microsoft azure and google cloud and these are the data centers where these service can be hosted so in interview somebody might ask you tell which data center is the workflow services supported or not how do you find so you go to service discovery center you open the workflow service you come down to the pricing information and then you see here how much uh, is the price and along with that you will see which data center of which infrastructure provider which data center is this service available and what's the fees what's the price you see for europe aws this is the cost yeah up to these many uh, number of units so units are can be me measured in number in routes in number of uh, users also you can see here yeah and you can also add these service depending on the plan you choose you can see pay as you go or trial plan so you can put them in an estimator tool which is going to be the cost calculator it's like a cart shopping cart where you can go and check how much cost it is going to incur your company if you want to use this service so that is how you can help your company to administer and to also find out how much each service is going to cost your company per month uh, for the subscription yes so there are so many different different services out there you can choose so this these things are are the basics of cloud foundry or or sap btp cloud foundry environment and this will apply to anything you learn whether you learn irpa or you learn workflow or you learn integration suit you learn analytics cloud these things are are always going to remain same they are the basics they are the basics of btp 
they will remain always same so this is how you can check so for example if somebody want to use abap in cloud how much is going to cost me you can go back and check the abap service yeah you can just search for abap service abap environment service how much it is going to cost your company so every single detail you can always go and check over here in the system fantastic so that is about the service plan part which i just explained you and service instances so in practical we have also seen and we have also created an instance of our workflow service inside our btp account